Hey guys, so it's Death by One of Us, formerly of the Video Games Awesome community. Um, I'm making this recording because uh, I was out doing deliveries this evening and today. And I got to thinking about, you know, just VGA and just my time with the community and everything that's kind of gone on in the last, like, couple months, the last year, really, um, in regards to, uh, getting uh, banned from the community. Um, so, you know, as many of you know that are listening to this, um, I was a long-time member of the community. I joined back in uh, 2012, so basically seven years I've been a part of the community in some fashion. Um, I've done a couple of these videos before, a couple of videos before where I, uh, you know, thank VGA for giving me a place, you know, let me be part of something. Um, given, you know, back uh, when I first first joined, uh, I was in kind of a rough place, you know, mentally. I've always been kind of, uh, always have been kind of dealing with that, you know, leading up to about it, about like a year ago, or now, like maybe like this year, I really kind of finally zeroed in on, you know, my issues, and I, uh, got some help with that, but uh, it came at uh, at a price, unfortunately, because I ended up getting banned from the community. So, basically, what happened the last year or so, um, I got, uh, you know, I got kind of bored, and uh, there was this, the VGA Reddit, and I just, you know, I had been, I was aware of it for some time, and I had stopped in, and I don't really recall the, the exact context of it. But basically, people were, were, you know, I took it as them trashing the show for no no good reason other than being trolls. So, at first, you know, I tried to have a civil conversation with them, you know, giving my point of view. And as somebody that had been a longtime member of the community. And uh, that was mostly met with, you know, just a very, for lack of better words, a very lynch mob mentality and uh, people did not want to hear my, my point of view and then it got, it kind of got to the point where it got personal and I kind of took it too far because I think a lot of it was done out of boredom and just personal amusement because, you know, I always have had for like the last few years, I've had kind of a bit of a cynical side to myself and I'll start drama or I'll be cynical just for personal amusement. And that's kind of what happened here. Um, I went back and forth with them for a long time. And it got to a point where, like, I was actually trying to gain uh, mod status on that that Reddit because a couple people took it way too far. They made it way too personal. And I kind of, you know, I jokingly said that I was going to get mod status just to ban them from, uh, from the, uh, the Reddit the VGA Reddit just because uh, nobody else, the, the mod who was there wasn't really doing much of anything to, you know, a lot of rules were being broken, you know, in regards to, you know, people talking negatively about the show and whatnot, and it just seemed like nothing was being done. So I kind of like, you know, semi-seriously was trying to take it upon myself to, you know, have some, uh, you know, law and order and have some, uh, some civility, some, uh, just try and restore some order to to the Reddit, you know, because it just seemed like everyone was trashing the show and saying a lot of stuff that you know, I I didn't believe you know to be true in regards to AVG and uh, how how that was all being held. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, that uh, I think a lot of that actually became kind of true in some regard. Uh, I'm uh, no longer. Uh, donating any money through the Patreon for AVG because I just I can't really defend that anymore given the way it's been handled and the whole lack of transparency in regards to it. It just it, I just I can't give money to it anymore, especially you know having been banned from the community. It just it feels weird, and I, I even stopped you know giving money to the VGA Patreon because it just it doesn't feel feel right you know to be giving money while I'm currently banned. So, I mean, so that's kind of what happened. It just, uh, 
just a lot of stupid nonsense on my part. I, you know, I'm not going to deny that I, I did a lot of stupid things and said a lot of stupid things, and uh, to the point where like I randomly mentioned, you know, buying a gun to one of the the people that was, you know, part of the the other VGA Discord server. I mean, that whole turned into a whole big drama in, in itself, and. Uh, I mean, if you if you know the situation, then I, I really don't have to rehash it and whatnot. But long story short, just a lot of stupid nonsense went on, and it just it culminated, I think, with you know me mentioning that I I uh, had bought a gun, and like I said, it just it was something that was said randomly uh, while I was actually having what turned into a really civil conversation with somebody, and. Uh, yeah, so basically what happened was uh, it got to a point where like I realized I can't I logged on to, to Discord one time and I noticed that I that the VGA server was missing from uh, from um, from my Discord and so I sorry to out him you know publicly but um, I, I kind of have to in regards to the story um, quasi I who had talked to me previously, maybe a couple months before all this happened, about, you know, all the drama that had been surrounding VGA in regards to the other VGA server. Um, I talked to him, and I was like, yeah, has anything been going on with the server? It's, uh, it's missing for me. And, and I'm sorry to say this, but he lied to me. He straight up lied to me about it initially. And I even admitted to, you know, my wrongdoing, and he still did not come out and say that I was banned initially. I I don't really know the, the whole reason behind that. He claims that I intimidated multiple people, you know, in regards to having a gun, and that's not really the case. So I don't really know what the truth is in regards to him. But all but what I do know is he lied about it initially, and he never really truly explained, you know, why he did that. Um, he just said that, 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 you know, Becky and Fraser were concerned for my well-being and, but at the same time, I was banned from the community and something that I've used for emotional support in the past when I've had, you know, rough times with, you know, the mental health stuff. And, um, so yeah, he, he lied about it initially and I, I tried to talk to him after, you know, some time had passed and he just he basically blocked me on all forms of social media becky and fraser on the other hand you know i made you know initially i made an apology i've you know made a couple apologies since and all this happened and they haven't spoken to me in regards to it so i'm just you know i'm putting this out here again you know and i think this will be be the end of it for me you know i think this will be the last time i'm going to talk about this publicly you know until you know either they respond to it or you know i truly will move on because i kind of have in in most regards you know i'm i'm doing fine you know you know and in regards to everything that happened and whatnot i, I kind of for the most part moved on from it but you know i'm still i still think about it from time to time like today if i just feel like i just had to you know put this all out in there publicly um because all I've only really talked to people privately about it, you know, people from PAX, you know, really good friends, you know, I won't name names, but uh, you know who you are if you're listening to this, you know, I've put it all out there in regards to what happened, and I, all I really want is just resolution, I just want, you know, resolution, because it's been such a great chapter in my life, and I just, it'd be sad for it to, you know, to end this way, and just have to just, you know, fully move on, like, you know, the, the past seven years, you know, they didn't happen or they didn't mean anything when they clearly have you know it, it's been a great chapter in my life it's helped me through a lot of you know dark times in my life you know like i said i've used vga and turbo you know as a source of you know emotional support because you know i just for a long time i considered you know you know a lot of you know vga you know dear friends you know extended family in some regard you know just all the great times we had at pax and I just, I, I, I can't say it. I've, I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. I'm so sorry for, you know, the way I acted. It was stupid. And I know now that, you know, it was, you know, I was being loyal, overly loyal to, 
towards a bunch of trolls that were not worth my time and it just it just it happened because you know I was still dealing with a lot of mental health stuff and I just I didn't know when I I shouldn't have never started with, with those trolls it was just and like I realize now that some of them you know were actually trying you know actually had you know legit criticisms about VGA and we're actually trying to, you know, make, bring some change in regards to the show. I mean, to me, you know, it, there never really was a problem, but now there is because I created one and I never should have, it never should have gotten to this point. And for that, I'm very sorry. And the whole thing about the gun, I just, it just, because of all the past drama, the context was just really bad and it was just really stupid on my part. And just so you know, I mean, the person that, that I had the conversation with, you know, I'm actually, you know, you know friendly with him. And he's, he's, uh, he said that he's sorry for his part in this, this as well. So, I mean, all I can say is I'm very sorry. And I, I still, like I said, I'm thankful for the seven years that I had with this community. And I just, I don't want it to end, you know, because I really am. I'm in a good place. I truly can say that say that I'm a, in the best place I've ever been, you know, in regards to my mental health for the longest time. I'm uh, I'm actively, you know, seeing Ivy again. You know, I'll I'll leave it at that. It's you know we're we're in the best place you know we've been for you know the two years we've known each other, and you know I just I want I want to find some kind of resolution to this, be it just I'm sorry that all this happened I can I can only say it so many times and I'm just like I said I'm just sorry that all this happened so that's pretty much it um, yeah if you guys want to talk talk about it you know where to find me and once again I'm sorry it just it, it wasn't my intention for, for it to get to where it got to so I'm sorry. That's all I can say. Is I'm sorry, and I hope it's not—it's not truly the end.